We all love our food. Why have I got that line? But we've never thought about food as fuel before. We want to find out how food can affect our performance. So we're going to meet up with some sporting heroes, experts in beauty and brainy people to find out what they eat. And how it helps them reach their goals. As part of our high performance series, we've come to talk nutrition and gymnastics with twice world acrobatic champion, Doug Fordyce. What? So Doug, what kind of role does food play in your training regime and performance? So obviously, food is a big part of my training, especially if I'm on lead up to a big competition or a big performance, I need to make sure that I've got enough energy to actually execute what I'm going to do. And is there a difference between performance and competition? Yeah, so if I'm going out for a big competition, I need to make sure I've got all my energy, so I want to increase my carbs and make sure that my body is fueled. Whereas if I'm doing a big performance, I know I'm going to be topless, and I want the pack to be showing, and I'll cut them down. It's to all about sure the looks. I'm looking a bit more lean, yeah. Perfect. What's next? So, a typical low carb day. What would that actually consist of? So I tend not to actually cut my carbs out completely. What I'll do is I'll just replace them. So I'll have something like kale or spinach, so green veg. And then I'll make sure I've got a protein source as well. So I'll be on chicken or eggs. And cook pretty simply? Yeah, I'm no chef. So I usually just keep it nice and, nice and simple. Do you ever get bored of the same things though? Um, occasionally, yes. But what I tend to do is I'll have a cheat day at the end of the week. So I'll know if I want something, I can look forward to it. And it's just about having that discipline. Perfect, we all like a cheat day. We do. Next. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Now, Doug, you mentioned a cheat day. Yes. What is it, food-wise, you're most looking forward to on those days? Um, I love everything. So I really look forward to things like pizza, burgers. I don't just stop at savoury. I'll go for sweet things as well. So I'll get the chocolate in. Yep. Anything like that. And do you see an immediate knock-on effect? If you've got a, a single cheat day, do you feel it the next day when you're back at training? Yeah, you do. You, you definitely feel a little bit more sluggish, but I think that almost then spurs you on to just repeat the cycle again. I think it's quite good not to get too satisfied with yourself. There's always got to be room. So it's almost reward and motivation? Yeah. Awesome. And uh, I've seen you've got a phone pick. Can we, we give that a go? Yeah, why not? Let's go. Doug, are there any foods that are particularly personal to you? Yeah, so I actually remember my very first competition and I was really nervous, I didn't want to eat anything and my coach told me that I had to have something before I went on the floor and she actually gave me a green banana which became like a bit of a superstition so I was only six at the time and I think that carried on with me right through. Do you still look out for green bananas I now? I do, yeah. <laughs> You've got food as a quite strict regime, you've got lots of exercise but what actually keeps you motivated, kind of stimulated to, to keep going? I think that's almost the biggest part of it is the motivation. Um, I was actually out for nine months. I had to have a bone graft to my wrist at one stage and I ended up losing about 10 kilos of muscle and I kind of didn't really see the end goal. Um, a close friend of mine is a trainer, so I started working with him and he broke it down to me. So each week he gave me a different goal to aim for and it just made so it's it lots a lot of small easier. steps. To rather get than to just one. one massive leap that you can't really see an end to. And would you say there's one piece of overall advice when it comes to nutrition? I think, to be honest, obviously there's all the real basics that everybody goes on about, but really I find I've sort of figured out my own way. There's certain things that work for me and other things that don't. I think it's important for everybody to just try and find their balance. Sound advice. Well, thank you very much for your time this morning. Um, yeah. It's been good fun <laughs> and yeah, very that's... different. I have been keeping one party trick up my sleeve. Yeah. Can, I, can I show you now? Come on then. Now, if you like that video, make sure you like it. And of course, check out loads more from Doug in the links down below. I think that's enough for one day.